If you're after a machine that is seriously fast with super tight tolerances, then this is an unmissable machine review. The OKK machine sold by 2D CNC Machinery is here in stock, but what's it all about, Paul? Okay, yeah, so this is the VCX500. Uh, in fact, this is the first time I've seen this machine here as well today. Um, talking to Thomas earlier, exploring the OKK range, you know, they don't just do five axis machines. They, they really are a milling specialist, but they do horizontal machining centers as well, of all sizes. And then, of course, this that we see here, the VCX500, is just one of their uh, latest five axis machines. So what's their real USP? What would be the headline for this brand, what they specialise in? Super tight tolerance machining, high performance machining, um, machines that last a long, long time, machines that really hold their value in the market. Often you'll, you know, you'll look to use dealers for machines. It's very rare you'll come across OKKs. You'll often go into companies that are, that are, that are buying new machines all the time and you'll see an OKK that's been there 15, 20, maybe even longer years than that and they just keep going and going and going. So you've got the history behind this brand, so why haven't we seen these in every machine shop? Well now since about 2016, uh, circa 2016, 2D CNC and, and Halbron Group were, have been the dealers for the OKK machines. And I think now you will start to see a lot of, more of these machines here in the UK. But of course, if you went to France or anywhere else in Europe, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of this kit. That's not to say there's not a lot in the UK because they have been represented in the past by other companies. Uh, and there is still a lot of machines out there in production shops generally. OK, who needs this machine? So aerospace industry, this is where this machine is really popular. Aerospace companies that are, you know, machining to the things we've said, tight tolerances, uh, you know, unmanned running, um, these things where you need to produce precision parts continuously. The automotive sector would be a, a key one for the horizontal style machines as well. So I challenged as well, and it's a good question, Thomas, about where the SME market is, because you look at 2D yeah. CNC here, uh, 2D CNC here, they've got the high-end eyewear machines, uh, they've got lots of other kit and the OKK here, and you think, you know, how are they gonna get this into some of those smaller companies? And they're talking about the competitive, competitiveness of price on these machines, but they're also picking on some of the features I mentioned about the fact that you are going to have a very reliable machine that your customers will be impressed that you've got and we can't dismiss that bring buyers into your machine shop and have a piece of kit like this they're going to go hmm, these guys know what they're doing so if someone's going to take the leap and go for this brand how would you say how would you sell it to them and say you know what it's got this it's run by fanic it's burn ride this what would you say how would you sell it okay me? sorry no i'm going to be a salesman <laughs> i think what i look at now um, I look specifically, if we get the camera into the machine, at how the machine is, is made. I always do. But what I quite like about this is, you know, some of these machines we look at, that the double columns, the big ones yes. where the, the tables move under the bridge, as we always talk about. Yeah. This is the same as that, but smaller. So, you know, some of the benefits, and I might put you on the spot in a minute and ask Don't. you if you can remember <laughs> some of the advantages. But if you see, you've got the bridge construction that goes over the top of the machine. This, this the part's table, not moving. The, ta well, the, the, the table's moving under ah. the bridge. So this is such a stiff construction with this uh, Z-axis here on the, on the column at the back there. And everything is completely supported. The trunnion is supported here and oh, to, the, both to sides. the sides. Both sides. And it just moves under, um, under the bridge. So wherever you're machining in your working envelope, you can expect the same positional tolerances, the same surface finishes as you would get anywhere else on the machine. So I think if you're looking at dampening out vibration, if you're yep. looking at cutting harder materials, bigger cuts, all of these things factor in and also the tolerances. Because don't forget, this machine will hold uh, plus or minus uh, one plus or minus one micron yes. in uh, tolerance, which you know is quite an incredible feat for a machine of this size. And of course, this is one of many in the range. Absolutely, you know, this is one of their latest ones, but there's plenty of five-axis machines. I think, I think if I was really pushing a machine like this, I would say you've got, um, you know, a great working area, great access to the machine, the tool changes at the back, which we, you can load from the back. You've got options on spindles for high-speed, high-power spindles, and as I say, this construction where you're moving 
under the bridge really does give you the maximum security when you're machining. And you've got the FANUC control system here, which is kind of an industry standard um, for people that are operating machines like this. It's great to see a brand like this out in industry. And I think, Paul, you might have just succeeded in an audition to work for 2D CNC because yes. that was a great sell ah, on one? the machine. <laughs> there you go. Do you want one? There you have it, available from stock from 2D CNC machinery.